Yes, good evening, Sovereigns and Nation, and around the world. There has been a sudden gush of excitement surrounding the so called TB Joshua prophecy about a Southern African first lady who he says in a video, a very short video, will be kidnapped or is in the danger of being kidnapped. This video was offloaded during the week, just in the last few days, and the game became predominantly uh, popular, particularly in Zimbabwean circles. Tonight, we are going to look into this video, investigate it, dissect it, and see if there are any semblances of the truth in it. Now here we are, Zimbabweans in the nation and around the world. There is this very short video, as I said before, which TB Joshua uh, has released. And that video has got a prophetic claim that points to the first lady of a Southern African country, who TB Joshua says is in danger of being kidnapped in a military operation. Now, the circumstances surrounding his facts of declaration do, 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 do quite clearly point to none other than First Lady Grace Mugabe. Now, as I said before, the reason why we are on to tonight is to investigate if there is any, if there are any semblances, if there is anything of a truth that can be obtained from this uh, prophecy. In quotes, we put that word prophecy in quotes. Now, here we are, Zimbabweans in the nation around the world. The trick, the, the strategy that TB Joshua uses is, uh, it's a media strategy in which he declares various possibilities while making these prophetic declarations. So like in this case, he states first lady, and then he also states vice president, and he also says president. Uh, all these people, he says, they are in danger of being kidnapped. He also mentions an unknown person. And then uh, furthermore, there's another variable. He says Kenya. In the very same declaration, he says Southern Africa. Is Kenya in Southern Africa? Surely. Now, this is why we call it, it's, a, it's the news target and it's, it is a scatterbrain approach that he uses. And we're going to see several examples uh, soon after we have probed this particular video here to show the fraud that is uh, being uh, deployed here by this preacher who many people esteem as a man of, they say, a man of God in quotes using the Bible. As we said there, there are several, several declarations, possibilities that he declares. Vice President, First Lady, uh, President, all of them, all of them, he says, they are in danger of being uh, kidnapped. And right now, Zimbabweans in the nation around the world, we're just going to quickly uh, go back to this, just a very short clip replayed and for you our uh, valid reason listeners to, to hear it for yourselves and then make the judgment before we go on to other examples here that show how tb joshua has just been playing here uh, this trick using it's a scatterbrain that's what he call it it's a scatterbrain approach so there we are first lady vice president president he also mentions kenya but in the same breath he mentions southern africa here we are and uh, tonight by the way we will also notice that this video is not even recent it is it goes back to 2014 it's just been chopped from a whole clip where all these various possibilities were being declared and then tb joshua uh, then chops this specific one because he's been watching the news and then found these fitting fitting news headlines that will match that prophecy and then people will begin trusting him so here we are zimbabweans in the nation and around the world let us hear tb joshua the so-called prophet speaking Very important.
two, three. I was talking about Kenya sometime. I mean, I say they should pray for South Southern Africa. I mentioned, and I was saying where the plane, uh, I mean, headquarter crash in the past, which I refer to Kenya. And I was talking of their interest to get rid of a president there. They will not give, they will not tire, but their objective and their aim is to get rid of the pres a president in that region, which I'm not permitted to mention. Southern Africa. I said it January and say a president will be kidnapped. I mentioned it. I mean, Southern people will remember if they are not going to miss, could tell me eh, this time. But this time, what I'm saying now, quote me well. Don't misquote me. What I said last January, that I'm seeing a militant, they are interested in embarrassing a president. Is it that they kill him or they kidnap him? This is their objective in southern region. And I say the country is border with this and that. I mentioned that they are still on in, in that plan to kidnap either president or vice president of that nation or first lady of that nation. They have they are aimed to do that. And they are still very serious to do it. I said in January and the plan is going on now. And if prayer is not off away, they will succeed. And it will put the nation into, into opera to kidnap the leader of the country or kill the leader of the country. If you refuse the order, they want to kidnap him and he refuses, they will kill him. That is what I'm saying. That they should pray for Southern Africa, a president. God show me the place, but I don't want to put any country into pandemonium. But Southern Africa, they should pray for them. Pray for them. God loves them. Oh, yes. So here we are. It's chopped. It's That's, that's done now. Uh, he's finished. But what you notice, if you go onto the website on zimai.com right now, you will see the original clip where the original clip is. Uh, uh, but you can also find it if you Google it. If you just look, Google it, TB Joshua, uh, TB Joshua kidnap. Sorry, TB Joshua Southern Africa kidnap prophecy. You will find the original footage, which goes way back to 2014, around August, September 2014. That is when he made this declaration. But now it has been chopped out and then made uh, turned out into some prophetic uh, declaration matching with the news headlines. And so eventually the target is, 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 uh, is met there. It, Turns out that TB Joshua uh, suddenly has uh, made this accurate pro proclamation that matches uh, the whole uh, political chaos that is going on in Zimbabwe right now. And now uh, we're going to see a classic example shortly right now, straight away, another classic example. And uh, this one... Earlier on, you, many people will notice uh, some pro proponents of this whole TB Joshua prophetic uh, so-called movement. Uh, earlier on during the day, were claiming uh, that it it is um, genuine, and they quoted particularly the Malaysian uh, plane uh, plane crash and some people and these people saying that oh this actually shows that TB Joshua uh, yes he might have missed other incidents uh, but this particular one he he um, he was accurate but let's just quickly show we just see here classic examples of fraud by this preacher uh, stay tuned right now as we quit. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what the secret is behind TB Joshua's prophecies? Is he speaking the word of God? Is he given these visions from an evil spirit? 
or are they just cleverly manipulated and edited to make them appear more accurate than they really are? In this video, we can reveal some of the editing tricks behind TB Joshua's prophecies. TB Joshua's video editing team are able to use footage of TB Joshua to stitch together prophecies to fit events after they happen by cutting out any inconvenient details that don't fit reality. They present these prophecies as if they were complete and untampered. In this video, we will show you how they work. Let's watch one of his recent prophecy videos, released on May the 12th, 2012, after a plane crash in Indonesia. It starts with an undated clip from a Sunday service. The picture was so clear. The whole thing was like I'm watching a minor TV. If I don't see vision clear, I don't talk. I was praying, I saw in Indonesia. I want to advise them there is a plane coming to the Indonesia, big one, that will carry passenger. I see crash. The color of the plane, I see blue. The picture of the plane was showing me and where it will take off to the direction when it will happen and the day and time i'm seeing wednesday i say wednesday what will happen wednesday it seems like a pretty clear vision he mentions several specific details a crash a blue plane a plane coming to indonesia the accident happens on a wednesday and on may the 9th an accident happened 44 passengers has gone missing during a demonstration flight over indonesia it seems oh, impressively accurate. Several details match the event. The but here's where it gets interesting. A year ago, Scone released another video. It also predicted a plane crash, also in Indonesia. He's wearing the same black and white shirt that he was wearing in the 2012 video, and his words are at times identical to his new prophecy. It's the same video. Did Scone just reuse the same prophecy for two different disasters? Not quite. Actually, they've done something even sneakier. Let's see what he said back then. Today now, I was praying, I saw in Indonesia, I want to advise them, there is a plane that will carry passenger. I see crash. The whole thing will start from sea. You will see the whole thing begin to sink. The, the picture was so clear. The whole thing was like I'm watching a TV. The color of the plane, the picture of the plane was showing me and where it would take off to the direction when it will happen. I begin to picture the whole thing just like that. The plane will sink into the sea. It was a passenger plane, though he didn't specify that it was big. He saw the color of the plane, but he doesn't tell us what it was. He saw when it crashed, but we don't hear a day specified. After this, the video reveals that a plane carrying 27 people did crash into the sea in Indonesia. But by now, we know that we're not seeing the whole prophecy. In the 2012 re-edit, we've seen different parts of exactly the same prophecy, used to claim credit for predicting a completely different disaster. So in the 2011 version, why mention seeing the colour of the plane but not the tell us what colour it was. Remember the clip we saw in the 2012 re-edit? The colour of the plane, I see blue. But here's footage from the wreckage of the plane that crashed in 2011. No sign of blue, but hey, no problem. TB Joshua's editing team can just cut that out. The colour of the plane, the picture of the plane was... In May 2011, he said that he saw the time it would happen, but he didn't tell us when it would. Why not? Let's look at the missing bit from the 2012 edit. Where it will take off to the direction when it will happen and the day and time. I'm seeing Wednesday. I say Wednesday. Except the plane crash in 2011 happened on a Saturday. Whoops. Better cut this bit out too. The picture of the plane was showing me and where it will take off to the direction when it will happen. I begin to picture the whole thing just. In the 2012 re edit, TB Joshua said to the Indonesia big one that will carry passenger. But the 2011 crash was an MA60, a small passenger plane. A plane 
that will carry passenger. If we took all the details that TB Joshua mentioned on the day that he wore his black and white shirt, the prophecy would not fit either one of the disasters that Scone claimed he predicted. So if you've ever been impressed by TB Joshua's prophecy videos, remember that the prophecies that we see are almost certainly not the full versions. They're patchwork prophecies, short, vague sentences that are stitched together in the Scone editing suite to suit whatever disaster happens to occur first. These videos are proof of this. Don't take our word for it. See the two complete videos for yourself and make up your mind. You'll find the links in the information below this video. This leads us to the crucial question. What is the purpose of these prophecies? If they were genuine, they could have been used to avert the disasters. After all, he claimed to have seen the day and the location of the crash. But now we know that he had no idea. All we can conclude is that he was simply exploiting these tragic events for the purpose of making a name for himself. We believe that this is extremely cynical and distasteful, an insult to those who've lost loved ones through this tragedy. We believe that it's an abuse and a mockery of the biblical gift of prophecy. And finally, we believe it shows the contempt that TB Joshua has for the people who follow him. If you agree, why not share this video on Facebook and Twitter and let everyone know the real secret behind TB Joshua's prophecies. Ah oh, yes, Bob is the nation around the world. That is one classic one, classic expose of TB Joshua's scatterbrain approach, scatterbrain strategy. Uh, he doesn't, he's not making any prophetic declaration. He's just saying so many things and, and, and then his video editing team wait while watching the news daily and then spot the an opportune time to make a particular tragedy or a possibility that something is going to happen then do patchwork this is what uh, the presenter there from uh, tb joshua watch the the the, 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 the organization uh, which did the, that second presentation there is saying what she is saying there is uh, they use this as patchwork just matching details like in this particular case here here we are we have got here uh, tb joshua saying that there's going to be a vice president she first he says president or vice president and then he also says first lady as well who is going to be kidnapped by the army in a southern african country and then he releases this video tb joshua releases this video uh, this video chop just within days of the whole chaos that is taking place right now in zimbabwe between the army and the first family and in the whole chaos with zanu pf the factions and how the army right now is 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 um has had been engaged in arguments with the politicians it's exactly what has been in the news for several months studying these things and then he chops he cunningly chops the, this video which he uttered way back in 2014 jump to zimai.com right now and you can see the original footage the original footage tb joshua made in 2014 around august 2014 and you will see for yourself how all this has been patched and then released at an opportunity time uh, the whole the other areas of that video that have got nothing to do with southern africa particularly zimbabwe have been chopped off and it's been carefully customized to fit the scenario that we're seeing right now in zimbabwe and then now let us go into the text that we have uh, straight away what tb joshua specifically says there so we can uh, dissect it as it is without uh, making any any conjecture whatsoever all that tb joshua is saying today about this southern african country stay tuned as we connect uh, to go into it straight away
here we are. Just reading exactly what TB Joshua said there. He said, very important, two, three, I'm, I'm talking about Kenya sometime. I mean, they should pray for Southern African nation. Uh, and I was saying where the, the plane headquarter crashed in the past, which I referred to Kenya. You can even listen to the construct, the way the words are constructed. They, they are totally and completely disconnected. And as was explained there, it is meant to wait for that opportune time when then TB Joshua chops the, the words that will fit a particular news incident or news event, as they say. And then he says, and I was talking up of the interest to get rid of the president there. They will not tire, but their objective and their aim is to get rid of the president in that region, uh, which I'm not permitted to mention southern africa someone there wrote in the comments said uh, this was lesotho does lesotho have a president i'm just asking there does lesotho have a president or it has got a prime minister does not lesotho have a monarch someone just wrote in the comment box there and said oh this this happened a long time ago and it it referred to lesotho and my question there is, does Lesotho have a president? It's got a prime minister, so it does not fit at all. This is uh, uh, according to the circumstances since, you know, just as the video is released in the last few days, uh, the circumstances that TV Joshua explains there uh, clearly point to uh, Grace Mugabe. If anyone disputes that, please do tell us in the comment box there so we can hear you out. But the circumstances do point, do point uh, quite, quite, quite clearly to Grace Mugabe. We're almost getting there to the end of our presentation there. <clears throat> And uh, someone says, does this really matter considering the state of our nation? I think we've got better things for live viewing. Well, people are being abused. Our people right now are poor. Uh, we have got millions of our citizens who are struggling to put a meal on their table. And these are the same people. This is the state of the nation. Who uh, These are the people who right now have been uh, are being abused by these uh, particularly uh, foreign West African preachers. Some of these preachers are local, by the way. And they are made to feel that they must put money so that they get luck. Okay, they get some sort of luck so that they improve their lives. And, and they're told, oh, God will bless you when, uh, quite frankly, God has already blessed them. They are rich already. And, 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 and these preachers, they make them become dependent on them. And so that is definitely a national crisis. If you don't feel that is a national crisis, we don't know what uh, uh, is, a is a national crisis to you. Uh, perhaps you need to do a rethink there. Uh, these are our people. These are our brothers and sisters, our cousins who are struggling for life right now. And they are being, uh, they've been taken for a ride by these men who don't even pay taxes. Uh, they, they've become millionaires, multimillionaires overnight uh, using and abusing the, the great book, the Bible and 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 uh, yeah turning themselves into some demigod this is why we do these programs here it is to expose and we will do more than just this because these men are also very very dangerous uh they abuse our people and make our people do things we have already lost right now of our citizens two two uh, members of our community one of them a senior politician Greenwich Ndanga who was an MDC leader many people will remember him he died under this TB Joshua a Nigerian necromancer as building and that in that that's that is the same building that Morgan Changrai slept in by the way just uh, not very long before it it crashed down and killed 116 people uh, in in September 2014 uh, very very evil 
evil, evil incident by a so-called preacher who calls himself a preacher of the Bible, who calls himself a prophet, a seer who sees the things of God, and he claims to be seeing disasters in nations that are that are that are beyond, and yet he can't see death right at his doorstep. And by the way, the Nigerian magistrates court they they ruled that T.P. Joshua is liable. So right now, T.P. Joshua as church is in trouble um, and and T what tb joshua has been doing has been using money has been uh, to hire lawyers so that it, it, the, the prosecution is delayed um, it was declared and and they admitted as well that they built that building without planning permission how can a man who says that he sees the things of god and makes our people to trust in him uh, that very same man uh, Build a building illegally, by the way, dodge processes, use decrepit materials and kill our people. And that man still come back and claim that he is a man of God who sees God and still abuse our people and, and cause our people to waste their money. You know, we've got a man, by the way, another man who uh, uh, um, after he joined T.B. Joshua's church, he became a murderer. By the way, the Mutare, the Mutare man who killed his wife recently, he became a murderer after he joined this TB Joshua church. Um, it, it, it was uh, after the wife had gone to Nigeria to, 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 to bring him back to Zimbabwe that he returned to Zimbabwe and killed his wife in less than four weeks. Uh, these are the type of preachers here who are who are really damaging our society, damaging our people, and we won't keep quiet. Journalists won't keep quiet. Uh, if there's a journalist out there who who, who is afraid of these uh, evil preachers, then that journalist uh, should not should, uh, should not be in journalism, in the wrong profession, because these these are the things that really matters to um, matter to a nation. And so Zimbabwe's nation round. We're just finishing here. You can rewind if you joined a bit late. You can also you can rewind to to watch it for yourself. The the TB Joshua prophecy unmasked uh, the prophecy in which he claims that um, some Southern African first lady is going to be kidnapped by an army. Uh, surely this is a shame. It is a scam. It is shameful. It is utterly disgraceful and utterly disgusting. This is Zimai.com.